Hi, Les from Thailand, retired and living the dream. And today, it's another car washing day, so this looks like it might be another long video. But in this video, I'm going to cover many, many topics with regard to is Thailand the right place to make a new start in life? And I believe it is because I've been living here for 10 years and I think it's a wonderful place. Now I'm going to reference some other videos during this video that I'm going to be doing. So for those people who are interested in living here and finding a girl, getting a retirement visa, buying a house, not getting bored, things to do, I'm going to cover many of these topics with regard to living here in Thailand. So, time to wash the car again. So I'll have a drink. Singer. They do a lemon soda drink, zero calories, lovely. So, here we go. Starting a new life here in Thailand. I did this 10 years ago. I retired from the fire brigade and I traveled the world for two years and I was married to a Chinese girl. We got married in Fiji, halfway around the world. And then when we finished our two year traveling, she decided she didn't want to travel anymore and she wanted to go back to England, go back to the job that she was doing before living in the same apartment not what I wanted. So that was my restart, my thinking, what am I going to do? And I've been to Thailand many times before, and it was always in the back of my mind, if the proverbial hits the fun, then I could move to Thailand and start a new life here. I've been coming to Thailand since 2002, and my first trip to Thailand, although it was enjoyable, I just thought, nah, it's certainly pattier, it's Pinocchio land, and it is, I still say it's Pinocchio land. Oh, excuse the clothes, by the way, I've been working in the garden, working in the house, so I've got my work clothes on. So anyway, getting back to, is it the place to restart your life? Now, some of the videos I'm going to mention, uh, I'm going to put up on the screen so you can reference them and find them and have a look at them. Um, a new start. Majority of, majority of guys that come here to Thailand, I found in the 10 years of being here, and you can imagine, because my channel, I meet many different people and talk to many different people, I always ask them sort of the same question, why are you here? A majority of them have got divorced. Majority of them have got divorced. And some people want a new start in life or being bereaved. And they just think life has got so much more to offer than at present what they're doing. And maybe it's a dead end job. And they've approached the age of 50 to 60 years old. And they think there's got to be more to life than what I'm doing. And take it from me, I've been retired since I was 50. Yeah, there's a lot more you can do. Work is a means to achieving the things that you want to do. No need to carry on working for the rest of your life. There's so much living to do out there. So, okay. Retired Life Reset. Have a look at that video. And uh, Thailand, why I left the UK. That's another good video to watch. And I'm sure many people feel the same way in America, Australia, wherever you live. There's a reason why you want to move from your country. Now my country that I lived in, in England, um, my job was dealing with, certainly for the last 10 years of my working career, dealing with people going in and out of prison. And we were, classed as a positive role model in the fire brigade to try and change the way these people were thinking and to try and make them upstanding citizens of the community. <laughs> that worked well, didn't it? Crime has gone up, violence has gone up. So 
the people that I dealt with on my course were uh, people who steal cars, joyriders they call them, twocking, taking vehicles without owner's consent. So these people used to steal people's cars, rec rec recklessly drive them all over the place and be chased by the police was a buzz for them. And we went to many accidents involving these people. And unfortunately, some people were killed because of their actions. And we dealt with the aftermath of it. But I've got to say, the, the course that I developed and the people that I had over the two year period, I had a good success rate. I had a 80% non reoffending statistics, which my supervisors and my bosses were over the moon with because it, it showed that our course was working and it was a very, very hard hitting course. It showed lots of many things that nobody would want to see. People squish people, dead people. No, not very nice. But it had to be hard hitting for these people to understand and show them the actions of what they run away from and they don't see. So anyway, I digress. That was just one of the reasons as to why I left the UK and I would never want to return back to the UK. The crime and the violence over here in Thailand Crime is everywhere. Crime is everywhere in the world, but here in Thailand, there's very little because the punishment is so severe and they don't mess about here when uh, you get caught. And the jails, the jails in, in England, I know people for the winter time, it's winter time now, actually commit crime. So they get put back into prison so they don't have the responsibility of keeping warm or feeding themselves. So they commit a crime just purely and simply to get put back in jail. So them responsibilities are taken away from them. And what a sad state of affairs that, that happens. But over here in Thailand, nobody wants to go to jail. Absolutely nobody wants to go to jail because it's, it's so severe and the punishment is very harsh for these people. So okay, that's to do with why I left the UK. Uh, okay, find a Thai girlfriend. So you've decided to make the move over to here in Thailand. So you're going to look for a, a Thai girlfriend. They're beautiful, stunningly beautiful. And there are so, so many to choose from. Now living in England, I'm 61 years old now. My choice of girls are very, very limited as to what I can have. My wife is 26 years younger than me. She's a beautiful person. We hit it off really, really well. We get on really, really well, despite the age difference. We have a good life together. And we've been married for a fair while now. And I've got to say, this is my fourth wife. She's by far, by far the best person I've ever been with. Honest, trustworthy, reliable, 100%. Now, I couldn't say that about my other wives. And I'm not going to complain about my Thai wife. She's beautiful. She's everything that everybody would wish for here in Thailand. But it took some searching to, to find the perfect wife. In fact, I've done a video. I found the perfect wife. Give that there. And look, I've also done a, another video called Find a Thai Girlfriend. Now I've been out with bar girls. I've been out with um, working girls, people who had a, a job. She was a, an English school, uh, she was an English teacher teaching Cambodians how to speak English in a language school. And I've been out with girls that I found on the internet. And on the video, I go through what happened with each one and why it failed and the things to look out for. 
So for those people who want to make a new start here in Thailand, give these videos a look. They've been out a while, but the information still holds true today. So you find the perfect girlfriend and you want to settle down here. And I've also done many videos on retirement visas. Now retirement visas, STV visas, elite visas, I've sort of covered them all and how you can save money on visas, how you can get around the system on visas if you don't have the, the income. And I've got to say, none of the, I've got to say, none of the videos that I've done are illegal. It's all legal. I would never do anything illegal here in Thailand. I love the country so much. I'm never going to spoil the relationship that I've got. But there's workarounds for everything here in Thailand. Um, a lot of it is a play on words. But Thailand is the country of playing on words. So, visas. Have a look at my how to get around the visas, how to get around not having to put 800,000 baht in the bank, how to get around various other things with regard to showing your income, one thing and another. There's many videos on that that I've done. In fact, I think they're probably the most popular ones, the videos on visas. So, have a look at them. So once you've found the girl, decided that you want to stop here long term and you want to make sure that the girlfriend that you're with is nice. I've done another video as one of the girls that I was with. She turned to be turned out to be a violent girl. And I've done a video on living with a violent girlfriend. I pull no punches with it. It's an honest video. I've got nothing to hide. So I tell the same story all the time. I've got nothing to hide. Um, it wasn't a happy ending with the story. But again, living with a violent girlfriend, there's no need to it over here. You can go and find a perfect girlfriend. Never be afraid to move on here in Thailand. Because you will find perfect girl but living in Thailand comes with its its downside as well especially for those people who live in Pattaya because the temptation living in Pattaya is unreal because the wife that you've got or the girl long-term girlfriend that you've got there's always somebody more beautiful and the tempting little girls want their money from you so they they'll tease you and tempt you to to do a little bit of a indiscretion should i say for a little bit of money but why are you going to do that because you risk losing everything that you you've come to live for here in thailand five minutes of indiscretion can ruin it a lifetime of being happy for five minutes pleasure so my advice find the girl and move out of Patia. Patia has everything that you want as far as food entertainment but i call it pinocchio land because there's a price to pay for living in Ta in there's a price to pay for living in Patia. And the temptation is there and it will or it can end in you being unhappy and losing everything so okay you've moved to thailand you found the girl you've got your your retirement visa to live here long term then you want to go buy a house or a condo now there are many horror stories out there about people losing the houses and losing everything that they've got, everything that they had. 
I've got to tell you, I'm just buy, buying this house now at the age of 61. So there's a couple of videos on there on how to buy a house, ways to buy a house. Now again, in Thailand you can get a, a nice little house for next to nothing. In England, for what I paid to buy this house, absolutely no way I could afford, no way I could afford the standard of living that I've got here now in England. So, but I've done some videos on buying a house from one point, well, from one million up to three million baht, which is very, very cheap. And the houses that you can get for one million. But it's big enough for you to, to live in it and not have to pay rent, because I think paying rent, if you can avoid it, is sort of a waste of money. But there, there are many ways in which you can buy houses. And again, watch the videos. I've done several videos on how to buy a house with different ways that you can do it. So then you've bought the house and now you need to secure ways of, so you don't lose what you've got. Now I haven't done the video on that yet, but I'm gonna do one very, very shortly because there's many people have asked me about how you can make sure you don't lose everything and there are ways all legal ways you can protect yourself from losing your property now you will never ever own the land here in thailand but you can have a lease on that land for 30 years plus 30 years plus 30 years let's face it the majority of people that are retiring are here 50 to 60 years old so even if you get one lease of 30 years and take it that you're 60 means you can live on that land legally until you're 90 years old. And I think at 90 year old, you're past arguing anyway, so. And I'd like to think I could live till 90 years old. Let's hope that I do. But, and there's other ways you can buy company ways and you can actually own the house on the land. So if you get one of these teak houses, you can actually put the teak house on the land and if you and your partner ever split up, just put it on the truck and move it away. Simple as that. I know that's going to the extreme, but for me, if you don't trust your partner in the first place, why would you want to buy a house? They will always ask you to build a house or buy a house because that's the main thing that all Thai girls do here. They want some, something off you in return. Now, as I say, I bought this house and I know it's never ever going to be mine. I've got no problems with that, but I've also taken precautions that um, I will never ever be forced to move out of this house. I can live in here until I end my days, I curl my toes up and say goodbye to this world and move on to the next journey, wherever that may be. So this is just a quick video on, is Thailand the place to restart? your life I'd say yes it is for definite so if anybody's got any questions put it on the email below ask me any questions I've lived here for 10 years been there seen it done it got the t-shirt on most things I don't know the answers to everything but I know a lot of answers to a lot of things a lot of questions that people have and so hopefully this video has been some good value to everybody that's watched it please leave a comment down below put a thumbs up if you like it put a thumbs down if you don't like it leave your comments down below subscribe it would be nice to help my channel along so from les retired and living the dream in thailand till the next video bye for now